Hey everybody, it's Cat Epic here today, and right, I'm, I'm Nick. I'm Nick. That's Hi, I'm Epic. Nick. <laughs> but his face might not be in focus. I'm Probably still figuring not. out my camera. And it's like wanting to focus on my face exclusively and not his. I know. But what are we testing today? Uh, today we are testing the Elf Clarifying Charcoal Bubble Mask. Quality content. I'm traveling home for the weekend. I was in New York and then I'm back here. That's why my videos have been patchy and terrible. And I'm not gonna read the description of this because I think that's really stupid because no one listens anyways. So that's just gonna be down in the description below. So if you're interested in the full description ingredients of that, that will be below. And I also provide a link. I'm not sponsored. Obviously I have like five people subscribed to me. So I thought I'd just show you guys. It's really gross because I've already used it, but that's what it does. You squish on it and it comes out. It's really hygienic that way. And then if you want to show it dispensing like the first time. And yeah, so this thing is supposed to be like those bubble masks. Nick, you can use both hands, you're allowed. There, yeah. that's how it does So it look. dispenses out that way, so you don't have to put your fingers in this container. We have to use the viewfinder as a mirror too, so <laughs> bear with us. Cause we have like a two inch viewfinder. You guys have like a probably full laptop screen. Yeah, if you guys have ever seen these, we just thought I'd review it. I've been using it. Um, I also have the hydrating one. I don't recommend the hydrating one for oily skin types. There's a lot of oil in it, which is great if you're dry, it'll be super moisturizing for you. But I thought I'd try it because some people are like, why would you use a hydrating one? But the thing is there are hydrating masks meant for oily skin types. You don't want to just dry out your, oh my God, I look like a cloud. <laughs> um, you just don't want to dry out your skin like a psychopath. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of that free, if you guys ever were like, gone to like a public swimming pool, you know how there's like that free shampoo and conditioner? Yeah. Doesn't it smell kind of like that? Yeah, it does. Or like the, oh no, you know that uh, no tears, no whatever mm -hmm. shampoo that like burned your eyes? <laughs> Even though no, it tears. no tears. Well, it's because it doesn't tangle. Oh. Uh, That's the lie. Yeah. So yeah, so we're looking at this bubble up. I will say this doesn't bubble up as much as other masks that I've seen, but my nose- It feels very strange. My nose. <laughs> it's like in your nose. Help! Ah! We're still lit. Ah, I just breathed it in. <laughs> Give me a lid. Uh, oh, here's lid, the lid. That's yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna set this. You leave it on your face for like five to 10 minutes. I would recommend if you're using these for the first time, do five minutes. Uh, but yeah, and I honestly, for things like this that are clarifying, I wouldn't use it. I would only use the lowest number because you don't want to dry your face out so much because otherwise your face is going to be like shit and then it's going to start spitting extra oil out trying to compensate. It's very but bubbly. Like, oh my God. You can feel it bubbling. Insane. I can imagine this would be very annoying if it got in your nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pro trick, don't put it near your nose. Just wipe it on me. Yup bubbling it like is working its way and fucking my pores no what do you uh, mean by that i mean it's fucking my pores if and it actually kind of burns it, does it then my dry spots oh so i want to put this on your dry spots <laughs> the genius mine like just me. feels weird it's like tingly <laughs> i think you're pretty much going to be like out of <laughs> out of frame for like half of it out of focus stop that you're getting bubbles everywhere. <laughs> what was that one? The tart thing? That giant one with the swatches. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you watch and like when I put foundation on, I accidentally hit, poked myself in the eye. I like forgot to go back and edit it out. So there's a point where I'm like, yeah, and, and oh God. <laughs> it's just like. I didn't see that. And then like at some that. point I'm like, my entire makeup routine is geared around fucking up. It feels like it's like sliding off my face now. Yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of sliding. It's sliding off my face. It's weird because it's like disappearing on you. Is it? Yeah, right here. But well, look mm. at the viewfinder. Yeah. See? It is. It's, it's disappearing. Weird. It's like it's starting super to disappear from my forehead. It's like can't decide. It's like whose face? Pro trick, Canon EOS M3. It's great if you don't have friends. Yeah. It's so weird. It just feels like it's just like sliding off it's my face. It's still bubbling on my nose. Same. Maybe my nose is just that filthy. That's like, shit, man. What the fuck do you have in here? Fine. Oh god, it is tingly and itchy, and I hate it. I know, it's very tingly. It feels like the bubbles yeah. are popping. So, I've been using this for maybe like a week. 
Um, so I can't give like a really fair long-term review of this. I would say you have to put a decently thick layer because where I was thin, it's like bubbled down to nothing. Yeah. But I would say that it does a decent job. I don't know necessarily if I'd recommend e.l.f. for skincare, but I do know that this mask does its job. It becomes bubbly and it's fun and it's like 14 bucks. Whereas like the other bubble mask, I think it was like 30 for like a tiny one. It's expensive. <laughs> Stop that. I'm a napkin. Or like the Batman thing. When he was really old <laughs> and he was basically, his costume was like, I swear to God, they had a costume budget of $13. Yeah. And he'd be like, I am the knight. And I'm like, you are a blanket. <laughs> That's Honestly. like my favorite joke. And no one thinks it's funny. I think it's hysterical. You don't Feels think it's like it's sliding off my nose. I see it deflating. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know if this side's gonna do it. One thing I will say with these is you need to like wash your face after all these masks. I've tried the hydrating and the charcoal. Um, and you probably want to wash your face after both of them. Probably. This one probably for sure. That sounds so weird. Because <laughs> I think it's been like, what is it? Yeah, it's been five minutes. So, so it says push down on the side to the top to dispense. We did that. Apply a thin layer. Bullshit. Put a big layer. Um, Very thick layer. Yeah. I'm not super thick, but just reasonably thick. Inch thick. When bubbles begin to dissipate, massage with fingertips. Oh, that's like and wash sticky. with warm water to remove. Pat dry and follow usual beauty routine. My face is like sticky. I'm yeah, you definitely need to wash your face after it. Yeah. Ugh. Like, it leaves a really gross yeah. color on your face too. But that's like it's charcoal. So like if it didn't, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, where's the charcoal bit of this? Probably should have done it before and after shot. <laughs> I'll be able to tell you guys if it doesn't look better. So we're gonna be right back. We're gonna wash our faces off, and then yeah. I guess final thoughts are some bullshit, right? Yeah, something That's what like you that. Do. Your final thoughts? What do you think? Um, it was interesting. I don't, I don't really know if it did anything though. Yeah, looking at my pores like up close, like with I have like a little mirror, and I still see like you and you guys like get really gross blackheads, and it gets to the point where you can actually feel them. That's where my nose is at. And that's like still where my nose is at. So it didn't do shit for my blackheads. I will say overall, like I don't look shiny, except on my nose, but this is yeah. a shiny nose. I don't know. It definitely stung in my dry spots. I wouldn't put it near your eyes or in your nose. <laughs> do not recommend. <laughs> I don't know much about my face, so I don't really even know if it did anything. What is it? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel oily or anything. Usually, yeah. I feel oily, so I guess I got I mean, rid of the oil. I mean, your skin feels really nice because you're so oily that I think that actually like balanced you out perfectly. Yeah. I have like funny dry spots, so wherever you have dry spots, I wouldn't put this like right here. I feel like really funky, mm -hmm. like here. Oh yeah, that feels weird. See what I mean? Feels like moist but dry at the same time. Yeah, it's like it's. I don't know how much I'd actually recommend. Purely for the fact that it bubbles, it does that. It's fun. If you just want to have like the fun of that, this is perfectly good enough. It's but, pretty cheap too, so. Yeah, I would not recommend this. No, I wouldn't for actual skincare routines. But for shits and giggles on like a sleepover night with your boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the boys all the guys like just bubble mask <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> so yeah so that's our final fucking thoughts or whatever don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always stay epic